Welcome back to another episode of our Dark Cloud 2 Let's Play. I am Zach187, and we are going to try to increase our weapons, and then we're going to do some other schnizzles in Chapter 3. We have two more dungeons, I think, to go through, uh, and then we have a few other things to kind of work on. But ultimately, I wanted to take some time to level up our weapons and talk a little bit about how that all works. We've done it a few times, but we haven't actually gone through it. So the good news is my weapons aren't really in any need to be built up or they can't do it yet. They, my weapons can't be built up yet. I need attack lightning B scale on this guy. Let's see what else we need. This one, I think we were doing the top one. Cyclone smash B scale. And then Monica. Monica just needs smash on this one, but I think we were doing Cyclone, so um, working on some Cyclone stuff. And yeah, so we're trying to work on leveling up our weapons. I really want to see what this turns into because this looks really cool. I think we're just going to do stack and flame on this bad boy. So um, I'm going to spend some coins on that, spend some points on that. And I'm also going to figure out what the hell these do and if it still stacks on the weapon. So I can't guarantee that these things stack yet. I haven't checked. You can see over on the left hand side by my cursor, there's a bandit hand there, which means that this has uh, uh, the ability to steal items from enemies when it hits them. But I don't know if I use a synthesis point to put this experience coin on this weapon, if that's going to go away. We're going to do it because this is how you experiment. This is how you play these games. Please stay. Oh, okay. Yes! Oh, that's beautiful. So in the wiki, they say that uh, opposite things cancel each other out, but that doesn't say anything about they can stack. So uh, I'm going to make sure that, that you guys are in the know on that, that those things do in fact stack. So I'm going to go through, throw a bunch of these extra coins because I have uh, a few other coins, a bandit coin. I think I have an indestructible coin. I definitely have another experience coin. Um, I'm going to throw a few of these coins on here uh, just to get rid of that, and then we're going to keep working on synthesizing and leveling up some of these weapons. All right, we didn't get very far on leveling those things up, uh, but remember, we're trying to make it so that our bell trigger is level five so that we can just attach that onto the Jurax, um, Jurax gun that we got a while back, actually. Uh, well, let's see. Oh, man, we do so much damage. So we really want to level up this pistol. So we're going to try to get only killing blows with the pistol. <laughs> we'll do a little montage here so you can see if it happens or not. Two out of however right. many that was ain't that bad. You guys. All right, so it looks like this dungeon, we are only allowed to use Max. No Monica. We're still trying to level up this pistol. So let's keep working on it. Keep trying to get this pistol leveled up. Because I want we want to get it to rank five so that when we go to synthesize it, it doesn't, um, we are getting wrecked. It, do, it doesn't, it, 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 it carries over all of its synth points, basically. Oh, what is this? Bullseye coin. What is a bullseye coin? Symbol for precision. Interesting. Holy shit! 
There are one million of those things. It's ride pod time. Eat shit, Gemrons. Eat shit. Too strong. Destroyed them all. Everything's dead. See, what is this? This is a new coin too. What the fuck? Time coin? Coin engraved with a symbol for passage. I don't even know what that means. Nothing. Fucking nothing in that chest. Awesome. Cool. The dungeon is done. We didn't get to level All up right. a pistol, but that takes care of you guys. we made some progress on it. All right, we've got another thing to make here in Balance Valley. We're gonna make ourselves a store lamp and we're gonna put it on the brick house. So let's see all of these delicious geo stones that we found. Look at all this stuff. So many things. Let's make ourselves a star lamp. Not a wooden anything, star lamp. Looks good. Easy enough. Put it on the brick home. Put it right in this general area. Yeah, right there. And we need to get a picture of it. Cool. Is there anything else that I didn't get a picture of over here? I'm trying to see if there's like something I may have missed, but I think that's it. Awesome! Now that we have that done, we're gonna head into Barja's Valley. So we cleared out most of that dungeon. Or the, I don't know what you would call it, dungeon. Du dungeon. Master dungeon? Large dungeon? Ultra dungeon? Like the big dungeon. We did all the Fremund Fremun dungeon. And with all of that information, or with that being done, we're gaining access to another area that I will show off in a second. I'm just making some bread. And we're moving to the station to repair some of our stuff. And then once we're done with all that, I will show you Barja's Bajarja. Barga's Valley. That's what I'm gonna show you. Alright. Actually I think this is a great point to wrap it up. On the next episode, we're gonna kinda dive into Bagarga Barga Valley and see what there is to see. I'll give you some spoilers. I think we're playing hot shots golf. So that's kinda what we're working on. If you enjoyed the episode, hit like, hit subscribe, thank you, and I'll see you on the next episode.